everyone, Skillsy Shooter here, coming at you with episode 38 of the Quad Feet Podcast. Thank you and welcome. Thank you for tuning in after last week's triumphant return from multiple hiatuses, four, five, six weeks or whatever it was. We are back. And you will notice that there is nothing around me. I haven't been evicted. I'm in the process of moving house. But that is for another story for another time. I'm joined, as always, by my ever triumphant crew that will be representing the quad feed branding and the skillsy tutor channel as a whole at pax this coming weekend i am of course referring to the benster hello sir how are we not too bad how are you good no i'm tired my back's hurting great cheers I know. oh god fuck it chris commented on a facebook post today where i just showed the sheer amount of fucking cardboard that is surrounding me at the moment. And his contribution was box fort. <laughs> I do think I'm going to make a box fort out of that. Didn't offer to give you, you know. a massage or like, how you doing, mate? Do you need a hand? Anything like that? He just went box fort. <laughs> Dynamite. How's your week been? Are you, still, you, you are still on uni break at the moment. Are you back now? Ben? Me? Do you? Yes. Yeah, I thought he was talking to Castro. Uni no, break. I'm back at uni. It's fucking shockers. Chris doesn't do uni. Yeah. No, I know, but you were just talk anyway. Um, yeah, no, I'm back at uni now. You're back at uni. So the uh, yeah. the destiny yeah. grind is no longer a grind. It's more of a pastime now. I have I still haven't played it since last week, and I'm last week I said I haven't played it for a week. So yeah, I've played it for like two weeks now, if my math serves me correctly. One plus one, two plus two is four. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I feel like such a bad gamer this week. I haven't really picked up anything, which mm. for a gaming podcast is kind of integral. Yep. We'll Close up shop. Close up shop. See ya. Done. That's it. Didn't even hit 50. Awesome. Hello, Chris. How are you, mate? I haven't played uh, some games on your iPhone, though. Oh, God. You're not one of those people that think mobile gaming is going to be the next big thing, are you? <laughs> no, I hate mobile gaming. Good. Good, good, good. Any person that can, anyone can design a game that can get you from like three three train station stops till you get into work. That's that's a no brainer. You can do that with Pong. Christ. Actually, that'd be a great mobile game. There you go. Play Done. That that's it. That's what I do. Good ideas, man. How's your week been? Yeah, not too bad. Are you playing uh, anything? Yeah. Did the overindulgence guys, you know? Crack yeah, the I've still you been playing uh, Destiny. Good. I've um, started playing uh, Sleeping Dogs. I forgot what the title was. That's okay. interesting because it's uh, next gen, but it's the uh, Xbox One graphics at the start. Yeah. Uh, at the start, I would hope it's, it's the, the whole same game. game. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I think later on it's got, I don't know, 24 DLCs with it. So I'm guessing the graphics improve as you go further and further. But, uh, well, as no, a, that's a an game. unlock system sort of thing. I don't know. The progression through the it. game, you get you get the hundred percent graphics when you get you complete the story. Yeah. Seems like well, a weird sort of progression maybe. more. Well, yeah. isn't that what they're doing now? They're bundling everything together and making it better graphics, or is that just for Halo? Well, well, they are, but I mean, I think uh, with the Halo, I think there's only like two out of the three games that are going to be. Re 1080 fired or whatever 1080p fired or 1080 penis. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was only Halo 2, but we can get into that. That's fine. Oh, maybe. No, it is interesting to go from like Destiny to Sleeping Dogs One, where you're like, "Wow, this is what I used to play with," and I thought this was like state of the art. <laughs> like, mm. uh, Everything has improved at the moment. That's why I don't play a lot of indie games because I just can't. My my brain can't handle that. You know, going back to that, it's like looking at old photos when you view in the eighties. It's horrible. <laughs> it's freaking horrible. Anyway, and our guest for this week is: if you're struggling for what media outlet you should be getting your news from, then look no further. And the funky man himself, Mr. Sam Tucker. How are you, mate? I'm good, Skillsy. Oh, it's good to be here. Fantastic. Sam Tucker, that's that's me. From the Sam Time News YouTube channel, where you get all, all the goods, all the funks. And it's great to be here. Thanks for uh, 
bring, uh, joining us from the sunny shores of Melbourne. Not that it's sunny at 8 o'clock at night, but anyway. No, nah, could be. No, it could, I don't know. <laughs> For the people that, uh, that don't know anything about your channel, which is going to be a stretch considering mine is uh, substantially smaller, give people a bit of a rundown on, uh, on what you sort of stuff you do. Well, I'm surprised there's people who don't know, but if, if they don't know, <laughs> Samtown News is the home place for every, everything fun and funky in the news. Take a funny angles on uh, news stories like there was, a, there was a woman who did crowdfunding to pay for a boob job. That's just some of the fun we cover there. <laughs> and um, just, just parodies like things that work on touch screens that you want to think work, you know, cover that. And um, The banana. Just, just a, a banana works on a touch screen. Would you believe it? I, I and do. I also take some apples. You can eat it for work. <laughs> <laughs> One of my, I mean, with all the weird and wacky shit that happens on the internet on a daily basis, how, how do you filter what, uh, what makes it to Sam time news? Mm, mm. It's, it's hard because one of the things is you might see something really funny like a turtle, there was one of a turtle doing a twerking in the shower and I thought, oh, that'd make a good news story. But then I thought, what, what do you say on top of a turtle twerking in a shower? So there has, there has to be a little bit of meat on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know, just, just, just uh, pick what takes my fancy and then either report the facts or make up my own and have fun with it. Mm. Mm. Did you? Uh, I saw you, you took an angle on the uh, the whole bent gate thing. Bend gate, yeah. Oh, th this is this is the funny thing. Um, I had my character come in, Adam Brandt, and he explained about how bend gate and how people, if 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 they try to bend the phone, what do you think will happen? And these people are bending their phones, and of course they're going to bend. If you're going to bend them, anyway, it was interesting on that one because I actually got quite a few thumbs downs on that because everyone who's all <laughs> Apple are like, eh, of course it bends if you if you bend it. That's that's their fault. Did you hear? People are actually bending iPhones. They're going into Apple stores and bending them and saying it's your fault, Apple. You shouldn't have a bendable phone. Like, no, destruction of property, guys. Those two kids. Uh -oh. Those two kids from the, the UK. Right now. Hmm. There were two kids who were filming it on their on pretty much on an un, unbendable iPhone, as it turns out. Funnily enough, they were going into into stores bending them and then coming going out and then going yeah so uh we established that the the phones have bent <laughs> and then uploading it to youtube uh, like to uh, speak to you up. yeah out come the police see if they bend huh? <laughs> <laughs> they will imprison mm -hmm. and against their will as well so yeah, uh, this is going to be the final show for pre-PAX. So we are going to be at PAX this coming weekend. Um, I dare say I upload this probably Thursday, Friday of this week. So it'll be, let's just picture it's two days until PAX. And then it'll be like Christmas. It'll be like Christmas. So if you see this shirt, if you see this man, if you see this man, if you see this man, say hello. <laughs> Say for again hello. It's all about networking. Uh, and as, as Adam Brown would tell you. And Red, you gotta you gotta call people, you gotta give them your business card, you gotta you just gotta say hello. You gotta be there at the time. And if they have a product, you buy it because it's probably a good price. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And Gav, when yes, they mate. come up to you to say hello, what do they need to say to win Titanfall? Ah, now this is good. This is a good question. Now, I've been battling for the last week, trying to not get, you know, too thirsty for subs and views or anything like that. But I figure it's like, it's right here, actually, one sec. I know. The newly released Titanfall. It's newly released. just come yes. out. The DLC. You know, a free game's a free game. Jeez, people lose their shit. I know, I know. <laughs> people lose their shit over, over a free game. So... I don't know. I'm trying to think of how we can Make work some sort of that. social media into it. If you like see me at PAX and get a selfie with me and then tweet that out, then I'll look at all those tweets over the course of two days and then I'll do a winner. Is that an angle? Would that work? Yeah. Would that necessarily Ooh. revolve? Or do I make a video and sort of go... No, no, you got to do like uh, whoever time? brings me coffee or something. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh. Whoever <laughs> will volunteer... Yeah. <laughs> Whoever gives me the most outlandish present. 
Yeah. Or buys me the most after party drinks. <laughs> Bring me a Danish. Whoever gives me the freshest Danish the quickest gets time for. Done. Um, no, I was thinking about it. like I mean, whilst I'm excited for the show, I'm I'm excited for the stuff that sort of happens behind the scenes. Anyway, I want to, you know, I want to do a bit of networking. Hmm. Have you have you got your business cards? I do, sir. No. Oh, let's let's compare cards like in that serial killer movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Oh, oh don't let me pick on the story. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> Yeah. Same time, same time. Same time. Uh, Bang. I don't know if I can compare with that. I went oh. for a distinctly more corporate look, and I went with <laughs> that. Oh, oh that's nice. Dual side, dual side. Did you get dual oh, side? Oh, beautiful. You, you it's got like, all the dicks. You were running off, you were peeling off cards like they were nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was making it rain. I only had one, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> get Brief sun shower. Brief did you also yeah. get yours made up at uh, Vista Print or somewhere I did. more professional? And my brother, he, he's he's all a bit into IT and graphics and stuff. He went to a fancy place. One sec. He went to Print Force. He went to a fancy Ooh. place called Moo. Look at this. He gets a Moo box. Oh, oh Moo. That's right. probably free. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. They fancy suits. Look at this. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, so I've just made the connection. Did you not know he was my brother? Uh, I, knew, I knew you had a brother, the and I knew... Uh, was it the Chewbacca costume that threw yeah. you? Yeah. No, <laughs> I just... I just, um, I don't know. I, I'm lost for words. I don't know. Because a whole heap of my tweets have been favourited this week by Bemused Rat, and I'm like, oh, this guy's a nice, supportive young lad. Good on him. Yeah. I'll, uh, See, I'll, buy beer. I'll buy him a beer one day. Turns nice. out this beer might happen on Saturday. <laughs> As it happens. Beautiful. What about, what about you guys? Got any cards? Guys? No. Ben had one. Have... Ben had one when we were part, part of uh, oh, yeah. Distinguished Gentlemen. Mm. Used, used to go to random events and just like in, in suit and tie and a various different attire. And We went to yeah. lingerie football in suits, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I think I still have 4,987 left. I only used <laughs> a couple. Bring it down. <laughs> you did give yeah. one to everyone in the lingerie football team as well. So that's probably why yeah. you... You need to reprint them, I, I, I think. Yeah, no, they gave a few back as well. So, yeah. Oh, where? <laughs> just reject your, your business card. No, thanks. No, thanks. No. <laughs> no, when they give it back, then it means their phone number's on the back. Oh. Oh. Listen to player oh, over yeah, here. He knows how the game works. <laughs> player. Um, all right, let's get stuck into something. Who wants to kick it off with a topic? I've got some r random sort of uh, somewhat topical. Halloween on Counter-Strike are celebrating with zombie chickens and ghosts. Yay! Zombie chickens. <laughs> so the chickens that are apparently quite famous, because, I mean... As, uh, as you all know. Uh, they are famous at blocking your shots. They'll just pop up. You'd just be like, oh, I can snipe down this corner. And, oh, I'll just wait for the guy to come. And then, no, a chicken. Bok -ok. Walk in front. <laughs> are they playable characters or are they just little things that pop up? <laughs> uh, they're just little things that pop up. But okay. <laughs> it, it pops up in the worst spot sometimes. Mm, troll chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, though, it's like is it the Stanley Parable, or like um, we can like be a stapler or something, or is that one <laughs> of the game modes where you're uh, Gary's mod? Is it Gary's mod? Oh, Gary's mod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so the game. Fa this is a quote from uh, Polygon. The game famously features clucking chickens mooching around and waiting to be shot, doing no harm. But in the Halloween update, dead chickens are resurrected in a chilling green hue. Characters in the game have been given masks taken from Payday and Team Fortress, and also fallen comrades inhabit the game as ghosts. Ooh. And not Call of Duty ghosts, thankfully. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, oh, topical. <laughs> Zing. Zing. That sounds pretty good. We, we can give that a go, Gav, because I know how much you liked CSGO last time. So. 
I was going through my library and looking at the uh, the playtime on some of these games, and some of them like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Counter Strike, two hours. Did we play two hours worth like that night? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Probably. How much of no it was more. against AI? Uh, uh, yeah, still keep on top of the AI. Yeah. I do want to read because we though. started off as AI. Yeah, no, we'll give it a, We'll do a different mode. That was shit. The was ones of what we're doing. They were like special different. Yeah, CSGO is the competition one. If you want the other ones, you just play here. Uh, like, uh, I forget the names of the other ones. <laughs> CS no? Just normal counter strike. Yeah. CS no. Yeah. CSGO is the competition yeah. one. Mm. So it's a lot faster. It's a lot um, harder. That's what we want. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Sam, what uh, what sort of stuff? I mean, you mentioned Minecraft before, but uh, is there anything you got your eye on at the moment? That uh... oh god, well, uh, the only the only thing I'm single minded, the only thing I'm waiting for is Fallout 4. But from what I'm hearing, it's 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 nowhere on the horizon. I'm very sad. I want it. It is. Uh, it's very sad. Um, other than that, I just huh? You're not alone in the meeting. Yeah. The only other Maybe thing. Not a crowdfunding. Uh, <laughs> Crowdfund Fallout 4. Let's make our own. Like quad feed and Sam time. Let's let's do it right now. How hard quad, could it be? Quad time four. Yeah. Yes. Which would throw <laughs> people off back. Which would throw people off immensely, considering they um, they'd be looking for like games one through three, which I know Chris would have especially taken taken offence to, thinking that Saints Row started at number two. Right. Fallout well, started at number two. Jeez, we haven't made and reference to that joke in at least twenty episodes. One. I know. Yes. Yeah. No. I like playing games from number two, man. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how much uh, you know playing opportunity happens at these kind of shows because I mean there's obviously going to be a, a whole stack of people there anyway, and mm. if it's anything like the queues at EB Expo, then maybe yeah. it's going to be a whole bunch of. Yeah, Q Simulator 2014. I don't know. This whole well, thing well, is I'm, I'm going as media, so I'm just, I'm, they say not to, but I'm just going to cut all those lines and say, listen, <laughs> Sam, time, buddy. Get him away. <laughs> i got a news report. <laughs> yeah. Fun on the game. <laughs> how, do you, how do you tackle the, uh, the, the tricky subject of um, promo girls and whether or not they just they think you're trying to troll them? Aye. Aye. Well, he's got... Got that media back so that that would work wonders. Yeah, yeah, it gets gives you all access. Um <laughs> 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 no, the same time news, we cover interesting stories like there was a three boob lady and then this most recent boob story with someone crowdfunding their boobs. But the way I cover them and the way I do it, I try to be respectful as well, you know. None of the none of the disrespect, you know, just just um I don't know. Just everything. And all that, and uh, and I make a lot of sense when I do it as well. <laughs> Apple are knocking down your door. It's like stop making parody videos. <laughs> you know, tell them from the real ones. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I only recently. Uh, it's in a. I can see it from here actually. It's in a. I'll I'll grab it actually because I I got distracted by your green screen. One sec. Distracted by it's not really doing that much, but. <laughs> <laughs> flashing all the time. <laughs> oh, he's back. Shh, don't tell him we've been talking about him. He doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the price of um, uh, onions these days. I mean, what's going on? Aren't they terrible? Aren't they terrible? Uh, no. Yeah, look at it, your one. You've got like a chroma key kind of colour. Whereas I literally went for, mm. you know, evening gown climate. Yeah, mine is a lot lighter than the technical colour you meant to use. You meant to use a pretty dark colour, but as long as it's solid, you you'll be right. You'll be fine. Cool. Thanks, Adam. Watch watch, watch the vid. I, I, did. I won't lay on the grass and get bugs in my hair. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> worst comes to worst, just go outside, mow the lawn, and good to go. Lay on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, speaking of playing Minecraft, would you? Are you guys interested in? I think it's just come out, or it's coming out. The Project Spark game. Uh, on Xbox. It's pretty much similar to Minecraft, but 
you can program things as well. So it's kind of like almost like a mini sim game, Minecraft game, all in one. Yeah, with a little bit of programming and stuff. Yeah, I've seen some videos made and some games made have been really creative and really well made, but um, yeah, it would be pretty cool, I guess. Could we go play play Minecraft? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Has like has the ship sailed in terms of like jumping onto Minecraft now? Because I mean, I've I've been hearing that. No. 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 You don't have any time. Your imagination. Yeah, Gav. No, I'm a designer. You should be making the best. Yeah. bases ever. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, just spread But you're still game. deciding whether to buy the game or not. I was like, you know what? You know, the, probably the closest thing I've got to it is like Minecraft CE or whatever it is on here. There you go. Minecraft Lite <laughs> PE. Huh? What? I, I ain't no scrib. Hey, oh, no. on your phone. Did I you buy it on your phone? Game. I don't know if I bought it or not or whether or not it's just like if it's the light version, whether or not it's the free one. I don't know. Oh, because the, the one you can buy on your iPhone, for like a few bucks more, you get the full version <laughs> for your PC. So, so I think it's I think it's only like 30 bucks or something. I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't know at all. And there's only all right, 70, you have to buy 12-year-olds it, that I'll I can handle. You, there we go. Cool. That's it. <laughs> Done. We're starting a Minecraft series. Oh, boom. Stop yeah. the podcast Minecraft. now. We're done. <laughs> Podcast series is finished. Episode 38. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Minecraft. See ya. Stitcher Radio, iTunes, and Podbean. Bye-bye for now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Yes, as a designer, I, there are things that appeal to me, but I don't know. It just feels like I'd be designing like Sonic the Hedgehog V1 backdrops. But no. I know you, you can get like that. texture packs and stuff and and all, yeah. that, all that good stuff. There's only so much, you know, 12-year-old ab- abuse I can I can put up with each day. What do you mean? <laughs> Isn't just, you like, don't have to like, like, like team speak. To other people. No, yeah, you can do it by yourself. You can do it just two people. Yeah. You can make your own server, just a couple of people who you want. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, it is hard because you'll get people joining in going, oh, what are you building? A house? Uh, I'll just put this fire here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to log out. Bye. What a shame. Such a shame. I, I, I play with myself and just hang out with the, with the, with the pig. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. You have to explain the pig story because that was in the pre-show. Oh, yeah, the pig. So, yeah, I'm, I'm building my house and, you know, I have to build my railway so I have an emergency exit to get to the town in case there's like an emergency zombie apocalypse. And this pig was in, was in my minecart one day and I've set it up so it automatically goes back and forth. So the pigs claimed that mine track. But I've now had to build my own uh, parallel mine track to get out of town. And you recommended racing the pig and I think I might have to race him for pink slips. <laughs> claim it. Or bacon, claim it bacon strips. Race him for bacon strips instead. <laughs> uh, having a blast in Minecraft. Just found out I could milk my cow, so I'm happy. You can milk cows? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck it, and then you say fill it, and they do it. And the, and it. you can make the cows have sex, and have yeah, more cows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So got was little baby pigs, little baby cows, little well not baby chickens, but they they lay eggs, and you throw the eggs. I was busy trapping my animals into the farm, pushing them in, and then I realized you can just make them get it on. I was like, oh, yep. productivity <laughs> went up. Yep. Good days. I just tripled my productivity. <laughs> Why? Yes. yes. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's, it might be, uh, might be a slow burn. But, I mean, how many? there's been like half a dozen games where I've said, it's going to be a slow burn, and I can still see the icon clearly on my desktop here. Um, <laughs> Battle Block Theatre. Uh, Hawken. Hawken, I was going crazy over that game before it first came out. And yet I probably played maybe half an hour of it in total. It's beautiful. Uh, Gary's mod. It's just, ben, come yeah. on, mate. Gary's mod. I won't wait for you. <laughs> I, I don't even know what, what the game is. Apparently it's about <laughs> a guy called Gary. Minecraft. <laughs> you know what, though? Yeah. I, I would... Minecraft is funny as... I would love to see a stat on like during the Steam sale if a person, like a person was to develop a game that had no content whatsoever and how long it would take people to find out <laughs> based on, you know. Oh, just because it was on the, the Steam sale? Yeah, I mean, we've all got those Perhaps Steam it games. it is something that's an absolute bargain 
and people will buy it, and then it will sit there for years. Yeah. I mean, they're, then they're you're releasing sequel. Yeah. Release, yeah. <laughs> Gary's Mod 2. What is it? I don't know. I mean, Goat Simulator. I bought that for 10 bucks, played it for five minutes, and haven't played it since. Uh, five minutes would, would have been worth the 10 bucks. Yeah, that's it. It was. Yeah. It would have been a good 10, five, 10 minutes or whatever. Borderlands 2. I've got Borderlands 2 here. I haven't even played it. Oh. So that's a weird one because that game's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Is it better than 3? The, the pre-sequel. Uh, I haven't played enough of the pre-sequel, but I would say number two is probably better. The pre-sequel Just from what I've been hearing. Made by uh, 2K Australia, so... Mm. Oh, God. That'd be good. Help us all. <laughs> the pre-sequel. 2K Australia's done some good stuff. Mm. They did the Bioshock trilogy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, nice. is three the pre-sequel, or is it one, two, three, then pre-sequel? That's one, two, pre-sequel. Uh, pre-sequel of two, I think. So or is it's, it the of the first? It, they made it third, it but it comes in between the first and the second one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's like Star Wars, where they did the first three before the first... I don't know. I'm confused. It was released, <laughs> the last one. Yes. I nice. See. Nice. I see. Uh, speaking of release, have you guys watched the Avengers 2 trailer? O M yes. freaking G. No, I haven't seen the first film. Oh. You haven't seen the first film? Oh. Seen the first film? Yeah. No, no. You should find the like, only other person on the planet that hasn't seen that and just go to the movies with them, Sam. Yeah, yeah. make a date. Marathon. Movie marathon. <laughs> Me and my Minecraft pig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just head into town with a pig and just uh, we'll take, um, we'll take look, a party. We can spare a few minutes riding the the cart. We'll get yeah. a movie. No, we'll I'll be, we'll build a track there. I mean, don't be silly. We're not, we're not peasants. <laughs> we'll, we'll go in style. We'll, you know, we'll carpool, carpool, mm? <laughs> carpool, yeah. carpool. No, yeah. No, I mean uh, I. I just found myself transfixed on the Hulkbuster. I'm like, you can make a Hulkbuster yeah. movie. And I'll be like, I'm fine with that. That's cool. I thought they were going to have the Hulkbuster in the other one, but it turned out to be that lame one that just holds stuff up. So I'm pretty excited to that see was the what the, That was so funny. It's like him having the foresight to go, you know what? What happens if I'm at a shipyard and there are some shipping and I'm on containers top of a crane. <laughs> that need to have... <laughs> Stuff propped up. I need to buy a box. No wonder he was up to suit friggin' 47 or whatever whatever he was up to. Because he was building shipping container version 4. God. Tony Stark. Got too much time in your hands. Jesus. What's going on? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, use- useless guy with a bow and arrow. Oh, oh Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Help me out here. Yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah, he's still going hard with his bow and arrow. Most useless superhero ever. <laughs> and uh, Watch me fire arrows at an inefficient rate. Oh, he's so inefficient. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the distance is... He's consistent. Underwhelming. <laughs> and then got Scarlett Hansen with two handguns, which uh, apparently is a thing. Cheating. Akimbo. Yeah, isn't every uh, every person with two guns in their hand as good as Scarlet? Granted, you don't look like Scarlet, which I think that's her superpower. Uh that's probably the superpower. Yeah, mm. but I don't know many people that can fire two guns at once and be that accurate. It's uh, <laughs> it's a pretty hard skill to pull off. Just ask every Call of Duty player. <laughs> I can't do it. This MP9 Akimbo, it's terrible. No, oh, Angelina Jolie, Lara Croft, she pulled it off. She can do oh, it. Yes. Cross platform. Let's go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. You gonna? Are, are you a Call of Duty guy, Sam? Uh I I was like when four came out, I was wicked, and then the next one came out, and I was a bit better, and then and then the most recent was the most recent one Ghosts, or was that the one? Most Ghosts. Yeah. 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 Uh, underwhelming. Underwhelming. Very the same old, same old. What are they doing? That's being kind yeah. of underwhelming. That's uh, that's very kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, how about very underwhelming? <laughs> <laughs> that goes some way to say that the game was whelming at one stage and then went significantly <laughs> under that. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's so whelming. 
I did like the uh, the footage of the ghillie suit for Advanced Warfare that's coming out there. That looks pretty cool. Mm. It's, yeah, uh, I think they're going to restore. Actually, kind of works. Yeah, the uh, Jade did a retransmission of um, his EGX footage, and uh, yeah, I'm still. Usually, I get to a point, and especially the only thing I can reference it to, to more recently is Titanfall. When I think Ben and I did that hour long like dual calm, I'm like, yeah, this is great. We're still going to love it. We're still going to love it. And we still did love it. And then it kind of dropped off. Whereas I think there's enough in this game that might keep us going for the full year. And then, yeah, we'll just begin the hype train all over again. So as long as it lasts me the year, that's that's generally all I'm worried about. I've got a fat stack of bloody Call of Duty games over there that I have yet to see the, uh, the cardboard box yet. But um, I don't know. It's going to be... I think it's gonna be good, and I think the PC port more more importantly for someone like Ben, if he chooses to get it on on PC. Uh, he's got the PS4 now. He's got the P. Oh, he does have the PS4. It'd be nice to jump into a lobby with you on the PS4, Benny. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Controllers, yeah. triggers. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'll see how I go. It's just uh, just much better with first person shooters on PC. Until they bring out the PS4 mouse. Oh my god. Are they? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Purely oh, speculating. USB. And it's, it's, like four, it's like a four. It's like a four. If they bring a mouse and keyboard for PS, that'd be just, just like, okay, everyone just buy a fucking PC now. Can you see? Can you fucking see? Oh, anyway. so you're going that way. Okay. Yeah. Rather than just like, oh, rejoice, the keyboard happened. and mouse comes to PS4. Instead, he's like, oh, yeah, just buy it for that. I'm the other way. Yeah. They kept changing the controller of the Steam box, and then one day it just looked like a keyboard and a mouse. Keyboard and a mouse. <laughs> oh, it also runs Windows. And you got your little desktop, and... Oh, it's a PC! Help me, Jeebus. Well, that's what the thing with... Um, even though there was the Xbox One controllers at all these, like, game expos and, like, trade shows and stuff, it's actually PCs running it under the box, uh, like, in the actual cabinet kind of thing. Mm. Apart from, I think this year, where you know they, they were saying, "No, no, no, this is running off an Xbox One." You can actually see. That's part of the controversy, wasn't it? So I think someone took a photo underneath the the secret desk, mm. and there were computers yeah. there, and they had to take them away and say, "Oh, delete those photos off your phone. We don't want those getting out." Mm, interesting. <laughs> yeah. People in black suits, you know, take you away, disappear you just for taking a picture of a computer. <laughs> Dangerous business. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. It is. Those you guys got your security? <laughs> Ben's got security. I have security. No. That, that raises a good question, actually, because, I mean, I don't want to get into the same bloody issue I had at EB a couple of weeks ago where it was, you know, oh, you can't take moving video of, like, screens or anything like that. It's like we were they're reliant on people having their memory. And just going, oh yeah, from what I remember, this game looked and played really what well. What if you've got Google Glasses? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. I think it's too late for me to invest in those uh, prior to going away. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Uh, what else is there? There's a whole bunch of... I don't know whether or not it's just the, the time of year or when like stuff... Um, is coming back onto like American TVs with all the superhero shows, Arrow, you know, Constantine. I think Constantine started last night, I think. But there's a whole bunch now of unofficial fan film stuff, which is actually worth a um, worth a look. Nah, nah. Need <laughs> <laughs> well, the budget. Yeah. yeah. Be interested. Multi-million dollars. That's what you need. The budget's not there. No. What what what, what examples have you got? What okay. fan-made stuff? Well, I mean, there, there was uh, I think it was last year or the year before the whole Mortal Kombat Origin series. I think it was. It was like episodic content of every um, character and where they sort of began. So there was mm. that. That that kind of sort of kicked it off, and then that sort of went away for a while. And then you had the um, the Halo one, which I think was. Oh, that, that yes, wasn't fan films per se, but like 
Um, the ones that Aren't I... Are they getting a, the a big name director for that one? Oh, it's a Spielberg one, I think. Oh, it's a Spielberg one. Is wow. it Spielberg? Or is it Senor Spielberg? It's your Senor Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get called out on that if uh, if I'm got that wrong. What was it called? Nightfall. Yes, Nightfall. So. Sure well, with that Mortal Kombat one, it wouldn't be hard to trump the movie that came out before that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Kind of an opening was pretty impressive. Oh, that's. that's oh, hang on. That's um, machine. That she was in Street Fighter, wasn't Street she? Street Fighter. Oh, Street that's Fighter. Cool. I mixed it up. Yeah, yeah. All the same, about the same quality anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there was a few Mortal Kombat movies though, wasn't there? There was like Annihilation and yeah, and just the normal one. Uh, <laughs> do 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 do. What am I looking at? Uh, oh, it's only details of the actual trailer. Yeah, no, the one I was going to mention was um, this one called uh, Nightwing, which is um, you know Dick Grayson, Robin. Mm-hmm. Grayson. Dick Grayson. Grayson. Um, that's Dick. a bit like a disease. That is real oh, doctor, I've got Dick Grayson. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get the operation <laughs> right away. Ben, penicillin. <laughs> right penicillin from my Grayson. Oh. Yeah. The only reason I said it was because I was watching um, uh, Greg Miller's um, video podcast and there was a guy wearing the Nightwing t-shirt and uh, he mentioned it. So I thought, oh, okay, it was on YouTube. Like, each episode goes for like eight minutes because it's, you know, it's, fan, it's fan made, so... It's uh, obviously your budgets are significantly reduced if you can keep it down as much as possible. And then he, uh, in the first episode, it cuts to this sort of faux newsroom kind of um, newsreader thing. And lo and behold, it's Greg Miller sitting there going, um, where, where was Superman? Where was Batman? The whole Justice League? You know, they, were they taking a coffee break? Da, da, da. I'm like, this is kind of cool. No wonder he's recommended it. A, because he's in it. And B, because yeah, when you go through it, it's it looks quite good. It looks quite good. Wow. I'm gonna look up this Greg Miller. Greg check Miller. it out. Check him out. He's uh <laughs> he's an IGN dude. It's I'm multitasking. Good. It's quite good. Okay. And he's got a wiener dog as well, so he gets a tick in my A sausage dog. Yep. You're the best. I'm not a dog person, but if I ever got a dog it'd be a sausage dog, just because it'd make you laugh whenever it came into the room. Um, yeah. You're my new best friend, Sam. That's my favourite <laughs> breed. My favourite breed is a Daxi. What's his name again? All I can think now is Greg Wiener. What was it? <laughs> Greg Wiener? <Yeah. laughs> That'll take you to a completely different website. <laughs> it's in my bookmarks, that one. Yeah, Greg Wiener. <laughs> uh, no, Greg Miller. He's uh, he's the editor. I think he's the head editor at IGN, I think. I'm not sure of his title. But uh, he gives the love back every now and then because I'm a, I'm a Wiener fan. He's a Wiener fan. Oh wow! He's all right in my I book. could almost do. Hang on, if I put on some glasses, uh, not too far off. <laughs> at, can't get one of these photos up, but yeah, nice. <laughs> Shall I see if I can find? Almost. almost. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll I'll find a photo of Greg Miller, and I'll bring it into yeah. the active area. Yeah, do that. See if I get one on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Should, oh, here we go. You should pull that. a face similar to this. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is uncanny. That is the f- exact photo that I brought up. Who's this? He's talking right now. Is that me or is that Greg? Yeah, you don't know. It's Greg Villa. You don't know. That's him. Yeah. Wow. No, he's a legend. He's, he's so cool. Um, cool. Let's see if I'll find another, another image that might be uh, oh, closer to you. Anyway. But yeah, mm. so uh, yeah, he's, um, he's sort of championing that show and with good reason. It's got pretty cool fight choreography. Deathstroke was the first episode, just just fucking tore into people in a courtroom. In a, Is it courtroom. The same Deathstroke from the very same. Arrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all. Your name tags disappeared, Chris. Has it? Yes. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh, has mine gone too? Yours has gone too. Uh, you guys led me to believe I'd have this forever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why mine's disappeared. Um, oh, no. Is it, is it back on? That technology. It is not. No. It's all right. It's Actually, cause terrible tag control. It is. Yeah, um, don't know why I bother. 
Yeah. I don't know why it's disappeared. It says it's on, and I'm clicking on and off, and it's not really doing it. Oh, well. Leave well, it that's like on that, Google. Though, Google Gate. Google Gate, everyone. Overlay <laughs> Google Gate. <laughs> Hashtag Google Gate. <laughs> yes. Trend it. You can only support two overlays at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine and Ben's are still intact. If uh, you just wanted to know. Uh, I see. You're this running the podcast. Yours shut down. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's disabled us. That's what's going on. Ultimate power <laughs> comes ultimate responsibility. <laughs> um, all right. So throw a topic at me. Who wants to talk about something? Chicken. Chickens. Chicken for haters. Zombie chicken. Oh, we, we already talked chicken, didn't we? Chicken. Zombie chicken. Zombie chicken. I'm glad the chicken. I'm glad the chickens are getting back, getting rise into life and stuff because they, they get abused. You say they got shot in that Counter Strike game. Oh, and, they get shot a lot. Yeah, and I, I like it in Link. I don't know if they still do it, but if you beat up the chickens, they eventually get oh, up. Yeah. Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good on the uh, good on the chickens. Good on them. That was a good one. I remember playing N64 and kicking the chickens, and just. Running around every time, just kick, kick, kick all the chickens. Like, what are they going to do? They're chickens. And then they fought back. Come up and life lesson there. <laughs> yeah. Battery nice. hands. They were running around oh. thinking, oh, I'm free now. And all of a sudden, bang, AK-47. Stress Assault and battery hands. <laughs> Assault and battery hands, yeah. Um, 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 um. Well, what are you looking forward to most at... Um... Hacks. Anything like in particular, or are you just gonna play it by ear sort of thing? Well, I might throw the floor to to the only person that's been to one before, in uh, asking Sam what we can expect as we walk around. It's going to be a bigger venue, so I'm hoping that you know. Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be more. Yeah, don't people bother, there, guys. But... Don't bother. Give me your tickets. I'll <laughs> I'll flog them up. That's fine. <laughs> oh, it's good. Um, the this it's really big. There's, there's lots of stalls and stuff, lots of lines, heaps of lines, booth babes, me. Nice. It's just what you'd expect, really, yeah. yeah. Have you been um, to, does the EB Expo come down your way? Nah, that's in, that's in Sydney. I was thinking of going to that, but then I thought, ah, can't be bothered getting flights and stuff. Yeah. Need money. So, um, no, nah, I didn't go to that, but, oh. I'm just trying to think. It's it's probably really similar. I'd say PAX just just bigger and better. You know, just it's the scale. real one. Yeah. Even yeah. with the practice one, it, it is the real deal. Yeah. They've booked out almost the whole sort of venue that it's at. It's going to be massive. Mm. Oh. Is yeah. it the same venue as was last year or? Uh, no. Last, last year was at some other weird place where it was off. It's 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 got a name that people will know, but I I don't know places very well, but. It, it it had um like it had a little section here and a little section there and you had to go from building to building it was really sort of disjointed yeah but this yeah. one it's all going to be mainly in Jeff's shed it's a massive convention center so it should be really impressive when you walk in and um yeah it's just going to be good I, I can't think of anything specific it's just going to be great good yeah <laughs> can't wait yeah but not let me down so I hope that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> As for what I'm looking like forward to, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's there. If if I can, uh, I guess I'm liking. I'm trying to make it in my mind like E3. Yeah, maybe they'll they'll have sections. They'll have like the indie section, and then they'll have the board game section, and then like computer section, and all the different sections split up like that. And then they'll have the conference halls with like the big events where they have the main speakers and. The different um, people talking about uh, issues in gaming, and probably Gamergate. I hear that's a big thing, and maybe they'll talk about that. Mm. But, uh, uh, yes, it's yeah. been yeah. been knocked around quite a lot. Mm. Yeah, I don't Does really know what Gamergate is. Man? People complaining about stuff, and people getting angry at the other people, and then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah um, getting angry at some of the female bloggers and reporters. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a multitude of things. Sure. I mean, the, the issues kind of got confused at the very beginning, and and uh, I mean, people say it was about you know gender, not so much gender equality, but like um, you know editorial corruption and and all that wonderful stuff, and everything just Lovely. got everything just got really cloudy, and then 
you know, more often than not, that's when bad shit happens and death threats and uh, I'm going to kill Ooh. your entire family kind of thing. And yeah, so. I, I don't get death threats, but people, I did a story about King Tut and how he might have been ugly and had like um, yeah, an overbite and, and weird hips. And then some people say, oh, you're one to talk. You're ugly, buddy. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> He's been dead for three thousand years. The, the time of has, has passed. I'm allowed to yeah. beg him, and he was the king of Mem the king of Egypt at the time. It's not like defend the king. It's like come on, throw me a bone. <laughs> oh, throw, me, throw me an ugly stick. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was a funny video. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, I always find finding myself thinking about the type of scientists that go. You know what? Let's figure. Is he hot or not? You know, and putting. <laughs> Putting King Tut on You're the right. not website. Yeah. Yeah. If King Tut Sometimes on they spend a bit too much time in the lab. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Benny, what are you looking forward to then, mate? What, is it just an exercise in um, going down to Melbourne for a bit of coffee and some pasta? Or? <laughs> Pretty, no. Uh, I am looking forward to that a lot. Um, but no, I just, uh, I've been having a look at the guide and stuff, what's going on on the Sunday that I'm there. And it's just... Nothing super duper in particular, but more just walking around, checking everything out, and um, yeah. So, hmm, so this the vibes. You just pick up the it's, vibe. It is the vibe. I was just about to say that. It's just sitting there, soaking up the vibe of what's going on. Yeah. Making your own fun. Well, out of the action. Our friend Prescription Pixel is on a panel. Mm. Uh, on the Friday, I think, which I'm pissed off about because I'd love to have uh, gone to that. I think she's in the... Um, do, 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 where is it? Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> no oh. one's no saying anything. Anyway. What's with Skillsy's teapot? No, I have to say, what's, what's, what type of tea do you take? Oh, right. Chamomile. Oh. That's how got Chamomile. Teapot. You so. know what? That is a gift from my future mother-in-law and I will... I refuse to have anything said about it. <laughs> what do we get skills here? Let's get him a teapot. Great idea. So you've never used it. I haven't. It's purely ornamental at this yeah, point in time. Oh, there we go. The old, it's too nice to use. It's Excuse too nice to use. <laughs> it's too nice to not put in the uh, cabinet. Now you've got a house, you're going to buy it, fill it with things that are too nice to use. <laughs> Your number one fan is in the background. Ah, oh, Skilzy. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Give me the best blowjob I've ever had. Whoa. Whoa. Fantastic. Uh, oh, Chris. Fantastic. Oh, God. Can't help myself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Chris, since this is your, this will be your first time as well. What's, uh, what's on your mind? What are you gonna, are you gonna be uh, going out there and like pushing the Skillsy Shooter brand with? I, I can give you any, oh, anywhere up to thirty business cards. How's that? Up to thirty. Well. Oh, I'll definitely be handing them out. I'll um, I'll be seeing if they get any discounts at the uh, food stalls. Um, <laughs> right. Don't you know who I am? I'm sure I'll hand out a few to some promo girls, maybe a couple of uh, stores to see if I can score a uh, a free controller or game to to test drive. I've got a free game. It's called Titanfall. It's right here. <laughs> No, I'll definitely be handing it out and chatting to people. I'm kind of excited. I've been to the EB one, so to see one that's bigger, it's uh, it's going to be pretty good. And better. Let's not forget. Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. Nobody sees, has been to both yet. Mm, yeah, I From think we probably take, uh, take that as red, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's a panel called uh, When YouTube and Indie Games Collide and um, Prescription Pixel, who we've met before, uh, and also uh, Silent Core, who we've met before at um, the EA event we went to a couple of months back for E3, funnily enough. But that's on the Friday. Someone's got an aircraft taken off in the What the hell is that? Yeah, who's <laughs> under the flight path? Oh, that's me. Oh, is it you, is it? Yeah, Damn. they're playing gone by. Damn, so. I love aircraft noise. <laughs> Should go live in my car. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but what about some things like the... Sometimes they'll have like competitions or whatever. Like I'm pretty sure on Sunday as well they'll have uh, COD Ghosts sort of 
don't know if it's competition or just a big LAN or something like that. Yeah, I'm looking at Are the, you going to uh, be trying? I'd yeah, like to do something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Ultra Street I'm Fighter. I've sure got to be pre-registered for those, though. So I think most oh, of us okay. will be watching uh, people who have been invited or pre-registered to play. I know oh, okay. PAX has a three-day competition where if you registered for it, you on the first day you play a certain game, and they get the score of that and then on the second day you yeah, play yeah. another game and on the third day they have the championship oh. um, I think I know like if, I don't know if it's what you're talking about but they had a I know they had like on the last thing on the last day was an ultimate championship and they revealed what it was and it was two people on stage and it was Jenga and they played this <laughs> really intense game of Jenga and I never knew it could be so enthralling the way they were commentating on it but yeah I wonder if it would be that That's awesome I've played yeah. giant Jenga before. The yeah. uh, the expectation that you might drop it on your foot or actually get crushed by the tower definitely enhances the game. It makes it a lot more <laughs> A good motivation. The threat of being crushed is a good motivation. <laughs> Seems legit. Seems legit. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to be looking forward to. I'm just literally going there to decompress and to drink some good coffee mm -hmm. and uh yeah sam can give us the inside line on where the good oh, yeah. where the good coffee is when i was in america i noticed that at least in like the california side they didn't have any good coffee it was all weird terrible Coffee's stuff like water yeah except one place I, i'd i'd try it do you know kopi luwak no oh, yes. yeah <laughs> what's that yeah Oh, I've never heard of that. It's, it's, uh, it's quite yeah. expensive, actually. It's very, very... Uh, yeah. <laughs> not the many most... people have a taste for it, but it's one of those acquired tastes. Yeah, it? it was like 20 bucks <laughs> for the coffee. And what it was... Jesus! What it, what it is, it's so rare because it's eaten by a certain little... Oh, cat. yeah. And then it's pooed out. Shoot it out. And, I make coffee out of it. <laughs> and I thought, wicked, this is my chance. I don't think I can get any worse. Can't get any worse than what I'm already having in America. Um, <laughs> Even if it is shit. <laughs> it is literally it is shit. shit. It can't be worse. So I tried it and yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't worth twenty bucks, but it was it was weird, just a niggling thought in your head. You don't it's like, hang on, this was pooed out by something. But it's a bit nutty. Yeah. yeah. Nutty. There's a nut that uh, in in Africa that if um, it gets eaten by elephants and it comes out Obviously, it gets shat out by the elephant. Yeah. And, uh, it's called the Mongongo nut, I think it's called. I'll have to try oh, that. Yeah. That's it. Let me consult the interwebs. Yeah. The That'd only reason I know about that is because it was on QI. And uh, it, um, I think oh, Stephen Fry said it. No, he said he gave it to um, Prince Charles as a present. Here you go. Call <laughs> Mongongo nuts. There you go. Quality Mongongo so nuts for sale. the only person who got away with giving somebody... The royal family. matter as a present. Yes, in a royal family member. <laughs> Apparently it's a lot like a cashew, which technically is a legume. It's not a nut. <clears throat> <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Fuck me. The knowledge. That knowledge. You should be on that QI show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you should have your own QI. I'd get that fucking buzzer every single time if I could make the most cliche, incorrect answer. That would be me. That little <laughs> thing oh, in the uh, background. The, the yeah. Should we play a little game of QI questions? Let's play. A little yeah, well, let's let's play a game. Because I'm I'm playing Heroes. I'm I'm in a queue for Heroes of the Storm now. So I got a quick. I got time for a game with you guys. It's fine. Oh, you got time for it. I'm kidding. Yeah, Calm down. Is. Don't have a fucking yeah. connection game. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. True. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Tuberculosis. Yeah. Uh, here is 50 amazing facts. I, mean, well, I won't go through all of them because some of them are QF, as in quite fucking boring. Uh, the, uh, let's have a look. Women buy 80% of everything that is for sale. True. <laughs> on sale or for sale what oh actually thank That's... you for clarifying that women buy 80% of everything that is for sale 
Oh, yeah. I, I thought Ooh. you said it on sale. True. Four? No, for the hell? No, false. How the fuck does that work? No. Yeah, that was probably hey, one of the ones like I should stuff? have omitted. Nelson Mandela <laughs> was not removed from the US Terror Watch until 2008. That is true. Considering he was in, 20, he was in jail for 25 years. Yeah. Didn't he die in 2009? Uh, <laughs> is he still alive? Was, no, it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, he passed, yeah, yeah, he passed away recently. Because that, w- that would have been awkward at his funeral. It's like, we've just released him from the terror list. <clears throat> <laughs> but a bit of good news. He's, you know, it's... <laughs> so there's a plus, you know, silver lining to the... Yeah. Uh, true. True, yeah. The founder of Match.com, Gary Creeman, lost his Creeman. My God, that is oh, no right. word of a lie. I already, know, I already know this one. This is another true one straight away, but continue. Lost his girlfriend to a man she met on Match.com. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's just like the Segway guy dying riding a Segway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I don't want these answers. I want some, I want some questions so that I can... Yeah, give me some cues. Uh... Yeah. QI anal anal <laughs> Sorry. Oh here we go. Audience. Um What medicine comes mm. from the from a Greek hedgehog? There are Greek hedgehogs? Yeah. Viagra. <laughs> no. Sonic. Kind of in the it's right in the right area though. <laughs> Extra strength Viagra. Echinacea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Extra strength Tylenol, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, this isn't what I want either. Jesus, Jesus H Christ. Oh, Jesus, Gavin, come on. Jeez. I'm sorry. This is a uh, quite a uh, impromptu kind of thing that I'm trying to throw together here. Cues, Whilst I'm finding it, let's do a Would you rather? Would you rather have a bell go off every time you got aroused, or never shower again? <laughs> here you go. One. Have that one. I reckon the. I reckon the bell. Just be proud of it. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the bell. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hey. No one's going to want to, you know, sleep with you if you never had a shower. So, yeah. Look, look at myself in the mirror. Bing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good day. Okay. Would you rather have mouths on the back of your hands that occasionally insulted the opposite sex or have an outy belly button three inches long that occasionally swayed to the beat of music? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. This is what I want. Right. Yeah, skip that. Good. We'll, we'll get back to the. Uh, we'll get back to the Would You Rather's in a second. What is air mostly made of? Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen. or water vapor? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Uh, Gents. Um, I'm gonna go with nitrogen as well. Yeah, that sounds pretty fucking clever. Nitrogen. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Totally knew that. I, I knew that one before Sam actually. Ah, oh, sure. No, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Who was the first oxygen, person? Oxygen's oxygen, man. Oh. Isn't it air? Yeah. Yeah. Air and stuff. Um, who was the first person to serve and be recognized by foreign governments as President of the United States? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, John Hansen, or Thomas Jefferson? Uh, My American history is not up to scratch. Well, well Washington was the first, first guy, but there might yeah. have been other sneaky ones before him. Mm. He would have been recognised by a foreign country because that would have been England once they separated. Oh, oh, that's that's using old noodle. Wow, this is intense. Unless I'll it's go a trick question. He's the only one I can remember, though. So we have to go with Washington. Yeah, the correct answer. I'm gonna go with him. John Hanson. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Oh, what? That's what I was thinking. Fun fact: <laughs> also creator of the song Umbop. Uh, <laughs> that's why he all was that, recognized all that time ago. Unbelievable. Are you the guy that sings that song? Where should you look if you want to see an opis, opisthena, opisthena, O P I S T H E N A R. Your options are a starry night sky, down a plug hole, your hand, or a zoo. Up, up uh, this, this Gonna go with the zoo. A pistana. That's 
It's in your hand. It's in your hand. Benny? Mm. Um, yeah, I'm going to say hand, but that's a guess. I, I really don't know. Okay. Correct. Oh, hand. hand. Don't know what, what it is. What is it? I don't even know what it is. Oh, Thank you. Oh, okay. I could even say, oh, well. Epistana. It's probably is like it a like or a scientific name for the pores of your skin or something on your hand? It's the back of your hand. It's the oh. anatomical term for the back of your hand. Lol. Yeah. Uh, according to surviving like, records, what were the first contraceptives made of? Crocodile dung, pig intestines, <laughs> garlic, or wool? Oh, it was they wool. Oh, I think somebody having sex. Uh, I think it was wool, wasn't it? I don't know. I thought it was oranges, but um... oranges. They used to use pig intestines, but I think before that, I'm going to say croc crocodile dung. Yeah. Hey, baby. Has to be. Surely. Get this crocodile dung be... inside you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It won't smell at all. I'm just get in there. What are we going for? <laughs> I say wool, but I, I, it just, it kind of sounds vaguely familiar. Poo. Dung poo. And I'll go for the pig intestines, just because they use that for everything. Well, that I've got to say is. that uh, old Sammy there is correct. Crocodile. Oh, oh, it was. Three for four. Too good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're keeping score. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Tutankhamun. Uh, <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton, as everyone knows, was the great scientist who gave us the laws of motion, laid the foundation for classic mechanics, and developed calculus. But this rampant overachiever also gave us the telescope, the equal sign, the cat flap, or the gas hob. The cat mm. flap. <laughs> Can you imagine that? One of the fathers of modern science is like, we need to develop a way for my cat to get from the outside into the house. I'm sick and tired of opening the door all the yeah. time. Uh, actually, that's probably something he would do. I'll go with the cat flap. What are the options yep. again? Uh, the telescope, the equal sign, the cat flap, or the gas hob. So apparently people ate raw shit up until that's... the invention of the gas hob. <laughs> equal sign. <laughs> I'll go equals. Equals? Benny? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm clicking equal I... sign. Chris wins this round. The cat flap. Uh, hey. Couldn't be fucking leaveable. I don't know. All right. This will be a good one. Which of the following is an actual medical condition? Big hand disease, exploding mm. head syndrome, giggly gut disorder, or soft and squidgy peristalsis? Hmm. Exploding head. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> you can go for it. Anything you wanted. Well, this Greg Miller had a bit of case of that, I think. Let me see if I get the picture up again. Mm. Giggly gut disorder. Or exploding I'm head exploding head. it. Ah! <laughs> that's that's <laughs> go. Yeah, that's my pick. Ben, Chris. Uh, I'm going to go with big hands. Yeah. Big I'll hand. say big hands as well, I think. Exploding head syndrome. Oh! Thanks. Oh, Sam's killing it. God. Unstoppable. Book yourself a ticket. Go over to QI. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. uh, Christopher Columbus had a few reasons for sailing out on his voyage to the New World. What was definitely not one of those reasons? Um, he wanted to prove the world was round rather than flat. He wanted to test out a new route to Asia. He wanted to make lots of money by plundering new lands. Or he wanted to become a famous sailor and rise in the ranks of the aristocracy. Flat. Flat one. Flat one? Yeah, yeah. 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 Round world. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Round we'll world. We'll go with that. The yeah, he wanted to prove the world was round rather than flat. Yeah, yeah. We did it! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right, it looks like these are going to be actual trivia questions rather than the ones that we'd 
likely to see on QI. So, would you rather give up cheese or oral sex for the rest of your life? Jeez. Mm. Cheese is good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Profound. All, all types of cheeses. <laughs> just one one type of cheese. Better parmesan. I love a bit of brie. <laughs> yeah. Partial to a bit of brie. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's a tough. All one. right. It's a tough one. See you. See you later. Cheese. <laughs> Would you rather have it's one? Time to go. Cheese. It's time to go. <laughs> Jeez. Would you rather have one testicle the size of a football or lots of mm. little testicles like a bunch of grapes? Mm. Equaling the size of a football? Ooh. Or like a really small bunch of grapes? I, I would think, you know, you walk into a supermarket and look at a bunch of grapes and that will be the bunch of grapes. <laughs> grapes. See, both of them are going to be awkward for walking around <laughs> Uh, think your oh. existing testicles just maybe a dozen more. <laughs> and Australians, Australians are like prone to kick a football when they see one, isn't it? So that's not. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to be oh, especially during grand final season. Oh god, It'd be awkward. Still, let's go with the football. Okay. Go for it. Run the risk. We're know? not. We're not doing um, QR questions though. So. These are purely <laughs> hypothetical. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answer. Stephen Fry didn't ask that one. Nah, funnily enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to football. Okay. A lot of his stuff does revolve around testicles, funnily enough, but for yeah. completely different reasons. Would you <laughs> rather eat a handful of hair or lick three public telephone boxes? Hair. Hmm. Well, wait, we don't have any public telephone boxes anymore. Yeah, we do. I haven't seen them in ages. Yeah, they're getting rid of them. Yeah. Maybe mm. three public telephone. Maybe oh, just three public telephones. How's that? So when you can find one, just go yeah. to town on that mouthpiece. Just, ah. They're usually in the city near yeah. homeless people. Yeah, the homeless. Yeah. People. They're also used as public toilets. <laughs> Sweet, extra flavour. Oh, that what you mean? <laughs> El terrible. Mm. Yeah, let's lick the phone booth. You don't know where hair's been. <laughs> <laughs> All those chemicals people put in it these days. Yeah, yes. you don't want to ingest that in there. <laughs> oh. Might have been on the ground too. <laughs> oh. Bloody terrible. <laughs> um what else was there? Oh, that was the only ones I I mean everything else was just like literally thought up by eight year olds and Would you rather see your parents having sex or join in to stop it? Oh. <laughs> That's a subgenre of porn, isn't it? <laughs> I, <think so. laughs> I don't even want to know anymore. I really don't. <laughs> Family ties. Yeah. Uh, what else? That was the end of the ones that I, I had. Yeah. Mm. Chris, didn't you have a topic before, mate? I could have sworn you mentioned something before. A topic. Yeah. Ben was mentioning his topics before, but um Oh well something to do with the uh, game sales. Ben Game Sale. Oh um Jeez. sorry. Uh, I thought you meant <laughs> no, I thought you meant we were talking Chris was saying game sales. Um the, yeah the standing parable um sales of that game past one million um units. Oh, which yeah. have you guys played that? Can you can you describe that game to me? Because I think I saw it. It was a guy sitting at a desk at a workstation. I'm yeah. Like, I've I've got enough of that at work. <laughs> yeah, it's almost it's like a bit like a bit of a puzzle, bit of a walk 'em up, bit of comedy. Um, it's just very weird. It's just you'll get up from your desk, you will realise that everyone has just disappeared from the office. So you've got like an empty office. And then you kind of got to walk around to find out what happened, why, where everyone's gone. Um, so, yeah, you're just walking around and you're faced with different options of, like, you either take the door on the left or the door on the right. And just odd things happen and you got, like, a, um, like a narrator which is explaining what's going on. And it's, 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 it's very hard to explain. Mm. Yeah, it's funny bits in it. 
Um, Download the Stanley Parable. It's got walking <laughs> doors. <laughs> and it narrates it. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it, really, it is very, very hard to explain. I yeah. think I have seen a little clip of it, and it's like the narrator might say, Stanley took the door on his left. And then if you keep going, he says, Stanley wasn't listening or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff like yeah, that. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, nice, nice. I Could think be Hutch on YouTube like, used to do a lot of stuff on that back when it was first coming out. I saw a lot of stuff on Stanley. I'm only and from a thumbnail point of view, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound intriguing at all. I'll mm. skip it. Yeah. No, no, it was very surprising. I, I was kind of just not expecting much. Um, and then when I started playing it, I was like, this is this is really this is really good. You can really get into it, mm. and didn't take too long to finish either. But there was just it gets to the point where it's just there's so many different um, endings. You just want to know all of them. Is Gary's mod a mod of, of Stanley Parable, or is that completely two separate games? No, nah, complete completely two separate games. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Um, but the inter interesting point of the whole thing is just because such a small sort of quirky game, um, you know, to get a million sales is really good. Mm. Oh, it's kind Sales. of like the, the, the plateau for, for an indie game. If it hits that, then you know doing something, right? Mm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, mm. What else is there? I'm just so have you guys still been playing Alien Isolation or...? You know what? I who was I talking to? I was talking to a guy who um, had only literally played maybe two hours of it, and I'm an hour into it myself, only because I was thinking about doing a playthrough of it. And I thought, well, no, I'll I'll leave this as as a game just to enjoy myself. And I'm about an hour and ten minutes into it, and I still haven't seen the alien yet. <laughs> and I'm walking around going, I've seen this on a let's play. So I know it's around here, but it just turns out that it's a, a corridor that looks like the, the what I saw in the, in a let's play. So I'm just walking yeah, around I mean, a lot of the, constant apprehension. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of the corridors do look the same. But, um, I heard you could hook it up with like the connect or something or your microphone. So if you make a sound in the real world, then the alien kind of picks up on it and comes after you. Yeah, is that what you got? Is cool. from the alien in this one? I don't know. Just Oh. Uh, my my mic's hooked up to the PC, but I suppose if it was like the um, the PS4, yeah. that's so, cheating, Gab. You're not playing the same. Yeah. You need that, that threat that maybe someone will call you, or you know, <laughs> Soph might call out. Oh, do you want a cup of tea? And then you call it. What sort of Dickensian household do you think I live in? Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> I have tea at my house. She's in bed by nine thirty. What are you on about? <laughs> She's probably in bed right now. Mm -hmm. So you would you would play it with like the PS4 sort of microphone thing? Yeah. Is that what you thought? Is that a microphone? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's substantially yeah. less quality than the Microsoft product, and I can't believe I actually said that because um, <gasps> the headset you get with the Xbox One is widely regarded as pretty crap here. Yeah. It's still a big debate on about the controllers. I know Ben said he likes the Xbox One for the PC. He does. But he does like the PS4 for the controllers. Indeed. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews where people are saying that the PS4 one's the best for the PC because of the triggers. Um, mm. Yeah, the triggers are way better on the PS4 ones, but just I think just holding it in general, um, the Xbox One controller is better. It's weird. I'd love to, you know, be able to crystal ball how well I'm going to go on, like, Advanced Warfare um, with this new controller. Because, I mean, my thumb immediately gravitates to, like, it automatically goes up here for some reason, and yet I I don't play PS4 games using that, obviously. It's more mm. it's down here. I'm like, eh, eh. So I'm just trying to figure out whether or not that's going to impact me but then i realized hang on i've been playing destiny for the last you know few weeks and that's a relatively easy transition and the triggers i will i will say are better than the um xbox one definitely even though there's more surface area to an xbox one it's just the way it meets that that shoulder button these shoulder buttons that i don't like 
Mm. Yeah, sometimes you'll find yourself clicking both at the same time, but that's just me. Mm. Mm. Challenging times. Challenging, Challenging times. times. Yeah. My brother got a PS4 controller for the PC, and he spends half the time just getting it to work properly on it. So, yeah, yeah I think Xbox would just work as soon as you plug it in. With the PS4, he wanted to make so everything worked, like the touchpad and everything, and it's a lot of, a lot of fiddling. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's, why, that's why I got the Xbox One, just because I know they make the drivers for it will be and yeah. a Microsoft controller being, you know, on Windows. Um, but, yeah, it works perfectly, but, no, that's why I didn't bother with the... PS4 one because I tried in the past with the PS3 one that was a headache mm. yeah too much stuff in the end I think the safe no, bet is for the Microsoft product after all yeah. if you're using a Microsoft operating system mm. I use Mac love Mac my Mac, Mac. Oh, Apple <laughs> <laughs> Considering you've got uh, all the industry contacts at Apple there, after all your parody videos. Mm, yeah, Adam Brown is very... Although, I also have contacts with Microsoft as well. There's a bit of a cross... Uh, what do you call it? Conflict of interest. But, you know, we, we get through. We get through. It's good. Uh, who, who's your contact at uh, Microsoft? Um, I think his name was Sam Tucker, actually. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, a bit of a stretch with that one. So, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> good work. I suppose we could do permission to play one of your videos. Yeah, go for it. I love my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love my stuff. Because I, I know my, in, the, in the interest of keeping the viewers on my, on my channel and not sort of mm -hmm. sending them off, uh, off somewhere else, I will. What do your viewers like as soon as you play this? It would be great. What are my viewers like? <laughs> no, 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 your viewers will spike. Oh, my viewers will <laughs> <laughs> One will hope so. One will hope. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh, so many to choose from, Sam. What are you doing to me? Uh, so many fantastic. Uh, let's what, go what with the, the... The parodies or the the game mm. plays or the news news parodies? Which ones? Yeah, yeah which ones? Parody. Are parodies. Oh, parodies are good outside of context. Yeah. <laughs> um, Look at look up the popular whatever whatever's popular. Yeah, the, the piano lesson. That's oh, still man. fucking classic. That's stellar. All right, I have everyone, to do more everyone be quiet. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play the video. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. <laughs> and here go. at Apple, we're proud to introduce the all new. Apple logo watch. The first thing you'll notice is the stunning display. The watch face is crafted from polished sapphire crystals harvested deep inside the mines of Moria. And the backing is made out of zirconia, which sounds a little made up. But the screen has more than just looks. The amazing touch sensing technology is able to tell the difference between a tap and a press. So it will really know when you're annoyed at it. And of course we knew the classic iPhone icons would not fit on such a small display. So we took inspiration from other great user interfaces and went with a new rounder look. We integrated our new Pay Apple, I mean give Apple money, I mean Apple Pay wireless technology into the watch. So that paying for your groceries is as simple as this. Now we did put cameras on the watch though there was a bit of a mix up and we accidentally put them on the wrong side. So now we use them to monitor your heartbeat. It's a feature. So now, not only will Apple have your location, fingerprint, your money, and your nude photographs, but the beat of your very heart before we eat it. But you can also share your pulse with a friend, and they can even feel it with the Apple logo watch's inbuilt linear actuator haptic feedback mechanism, which means it goes sometimes. But you can also draw and tap out messages, bringing back Morse code, baby. The activity monitor reminds you that you've been lazy. And there are three different models to choose from and two separate sizes because without Steve Jobs, we can't make decisions. And with the many wristband options available, you could almost customize it to be as colorful as my shirt. And that's the new Apple logo watch. I hope you like it as much as we do. I mean, I'm sure you will because we have got Bill Gates to present for it. Subscribe today. It's good fun here at Apple. I forgot to mention a new feature though. You can also log on to Twitter and follow Sam Tom. Oh, isn't that ironic? The, uh... Oh, jeez. Let me get my, uh... Let me get the boys back. Like, the, the very first comment that you feature after your videos. 
was my one. Yeah. <laughs> it was on oh, the, uh, what? the Apple logo watch. Completely unintentional. Oh, wow. Legend. Yeah. Legend. No, I think that's a weird thing that YouTube does. It puts yours at the top, so it makes it look like it's the top comment. But if you sign out and go to that video again, yours is like it's no, nowhere no. to be seen. This is inbuilt in, into the video. Sam puts the, oh, the comments oh, okay. from the previous video, the previous day's video, and puts it. Uh, oh, sorry. Yep. Puts nice. it there. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. No, I did the Apple Watch parody? If you haven't seen that. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Pretty oh, thank, you, thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, Colorful, just like my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put the cameras on the uh, wrong direction. Oh, Moddy Hart. Oh, what a great guy. Adam Brown. <laughs> Adam Brown. <laughs> oh, good. Nice. I, I couldn't see any of that video when it was playing, but it no, was pretty good. What I probably yeah, should have done is sent you all the link and we could all hit play at the same time. Ah, oh, is that how it works? We probably should. That's done. right. I usually watch it. I usually watch it before I go to bed. Anyway, so that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've probably seen it anyway. Um, let's do. I want to do another one. I want to do one more because um, we'll do it to to finish off the podcast. Oh, no, nice. it could be kind of fun. Lance piano. Ben saw that one a moment ago. Let's stick with the parody theme, shall we? Yeah. And we'll go with... I'm going to send... Jeez, where was this, mate? Your hair was a lot shorter than it is now. Yeah. September 12, 2013. Is that when, is that when I cut my own hair? I kind of cut my own hair and it <laughs> didn't work out, so I just shaved it off. Oh, no. uh, this, this looks <laughs> relatively done by a professional person. Okay, it yeah, was yeah. A, It was a short. Must be pre that then. Pre that. No. All right, let's send this... To you fine gentlemen. Oh, hello. Let me know when you've got it on the screen. I will move it. Yeah, I got it on screen. You got it on screen. Yep. Oh, here we go. On the count of three. And it's not a three, two, one, then press it. It's a three, two, one. Oh. And we press on one, yeah? Hang on, someone three, put ads two, on their videos. Yes. No, oh, no, what a joke. <laughs> Who's done that? What an All absolute right. jerk. God, what a piece of crap. Anyway. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Was it one of those non-skippable ads? Nah, only five seconds. I'm done now. Are you done? Oh, money hungry whore. Sorry. Okay. This guy is just really good money. <laughs> On the count of three. One, yeah. two, three. Today at Apple, we are so excited to introduce the new iPhone 5. With the iPhone 5, we decided to take a leaf out of Nintendo's book with their 2DS product, in that you take one of your premium good products and you just make it a little shitter. So we took the beautiful iPhone 5 with its glass and metal, mm, and we slapped some plastic on it. I mean, we already copy Nokia with our iPods, so why not do that with the iPhones? Make it a god-awful plastic piece of shit. But that's not all. <laughs> We're also proud to introduce the new iPhone 5s. The iPhone 5 was good at tracking your GPS data and sending it to the NSA, but we know we could do better. So with the iPhone 5s, we implemented a new finger scanner so that the NSA can have your biometric details as well. There's something truly amazing about that. The iPhone 5s has the most wireless network bands so they can always upload your personal data to the NSA Skynet database. We updated the cameras for better facial recognition for the NSA, but we knew we could do more, so we put in the M7 chip. With the M7 chip, we're able to track not only your GPS location, but every single step that you take. It's fantastic. And with the all new A7 chip, we can run faster, bigger games with better graphics. So now those premium games will take up even more storage on your device. <laughs> We, uh, the storage we didn't even bother updating. It's been a long dream of ours to work with the NSA <laughs> to spy as much as you can on the consumer. That's why we make it near on impossible to remove the battery from the device. It's been a great long-term achievement. Of course, with the new phone comes the new software, iOS 7. We figured that iOS 6 was too distinct and individual for us, so we wanted to make it look a little more like Gmail. We did a pretty good job. So I hope you like the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5s. Look forward to buying shitloads of them. We know we will. And that is the iPhone 5. And iPhone 5s. And our 7. Subscribe to Dick! <laughs> Gold. Punk it down! It's true! Use your banana! Subscribe to Dick!
Subscribe today. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I am absolutely freaking roasting in a <laughs> sweat box that I call a room that I will have for another the two number weeks. Number one fan not doing its job. Yeah, number one fan. Typical, like, good job of not giving that Let an Xbox One game. <laughs> doing no, no use whatsoever. Not fanning me with grapes. Fanning <laughs> me with grapes? No. Why would you want to do that? That just sounds terrible. Uh, so unless you guys had anything else you wanted to cover, anything else at all? Uh, very cash, very cash really. show. Not a lot of gaming. Mm. A lot of piss fun uh. about. On the PAX countdown, yeah. so hopefully when I upload this, it'll be two or three days until we jet down to sunny Melbourne, Rod Laver <laughs> Arena. Yeah. And then rainy Melbourne, and then back to sunny Melbourne <laughs> again. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of hail. <laughs> yeah. All in the package. <laughs> Can I sign off like Rick Grimes? Oh yes. Yeah. Do it, Carl. I'll wait, I wait for my turn though. See ya. <laughs> right. Right. All right. Well, uh, we'll wrap that up. Uh, like I said, yeah, Pax is coming, and uh, if you see any risks, be sure to say hi. I might just have a copy of Titanfall in my backpack, and I might do something crazy and just put it down in front of you and see if you pick it up. Like, not entrapment or anything like that. It's just a free game. <laughs> it's going to be on a fishing line and you're going to pull it away. <laughs> Come here, little boy. No, nothing oh, like that. <laughs> uh, As always, thank you to Ben for coming in this late, sweaty evening. So I'm hello to your... Fine, huh? You're okay. You've got your freaking air con. You're okay. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you anyway. I am mad. More good. See you uh, sometime this week. Brighton Ale at the airport. McDonald's breakfast. Hash browns are on me. Oh, that sounds good. I'm there. Chris. Oh, Can't yeah. wait for Friday. <laughs> what time are you flying <laughs> in, Chris? Are you, are you the morning man or are you the afternoon man? Um, uh, when I originally planned it, I thought I was going to work. So I thought I would skip out at lunchtime. But now I can change. But I'll probably still... I won't bother changing it. I'll be heading off at lunch. Okay. That was way longer than what I needed. But anyway, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> noon. Just a simple yeah. noon would, would have sufficed. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll keep... Uh, change my I'll put the beers on ice and uh, we'll get stuck in. And thank you to our guest, Rick. Uh, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Carl. You know I thought this would be a good idea, but I feel a bit silly in this hat. Dang it. Oh, well. I do what you got to do. All right, see you there, Pax, guys. I'll see you there, Sam. Watch out for the walkers. Look out for the walkers. <laughs> Damn. Keep your eye on Carl. We keep Carl. starting off. Get it. You give me trouble all the time. God dang. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks you very too. much, Rick. I love uh, your work. I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. If you see us at PAX, say hello. And we might have a, I might have an impromptu sort of video come up over the course of the weekend. If not, I'll uh, do some sort of PAX-related highlights uh, during the week. So thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Sam Sam, shut it off. Sam Sam, shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you really cut that part. <laughs>